What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Today we're going to go over the song Snake Drive. We're going to watch it. I'm going to show you some of the parts of how he plays it. Um, this is from R.L. Burnside, you know, one of our favorite players. And let's just jump right in and check it out. Here we go. Just What's a trio that song about, here. though? Well, it's uh, just uh, uh, some lot of stuff, you know, no, please, no, we please. made up <laughs> and put in there. So it doesn't mean anything, really? No. Love is the devil, but it won't get me. That's right, love is the devil, but it won't get me. I don't believe it. I'm going to try not to let him get me. On drum is my grandson, Mr. Cedric Burnside. Cedric Burnside is awesome. <laughs> you should check out his channel if you don't know who he is. He's amazing. Let's stop right here. <laughs> All right, so we're starting with the electric riff because the way that he's playing it on the electric, it's a little bit simplified down uh, versus the acoustic version that we're going to go over after this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's the basic riff. Let me slow it down for you guys. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. That's the whole riff. Later, he's gonna go into basically just a uh, muted strum. We'll talk about that in a moment, okay? But here's basically what he's doing is just plucking, you know, he's playing kind of finger style, and he's plucking second fret, thumb, 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 okay, so it's a pretty simple riff, right, um, now getting this kind of up to speed is a little bit harder, so um, up to speed, it's about 210 BPM, which uh, if you're clicking with the metronome, sounds like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so, and kind of with the band, it'll sound like this. And then after the muted strum, he goes back into the riff. So it's just muted strum. Okay, accenting beats two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hit those a little harder. And then... And that's basically the whole riff. You know, follow those tabs and, and you guys will be able to play this pretty easily, I think. Um, let's jump into the acoustic version. The acoustic version has a lot more of this kind of percussive element to it. And this is something that you guys can play totally by yourself to kind of show off or just have a, like a really quick riff because it's just four measures long. So let's jump into that. All right, so the acoustic riff. So here's the idea. So it's the same riff that we had, but now we're just gonna add a little bit of bass and percussion, okay? So we've gotta do that thumb We've got to do this thumb slap and then this kind of rake with the fingers on the backhand. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But let me slow it down first so you can hear how it sounds very slowly. One, two, three, four. That's the riff really, really slowly. Let me walk you through it so that you can play it, okay? So first, what you wanna do is basically just kinda of get this groove going where you're plucking, slap, pluck, slap, pluck, slap. So I'm plucking thumb and middle finger on the second fret of the D string. And let me show you how to do this slap, okay? So if you take a look at the angle of my right hand, okay? You can see what I'm happening is it's more of like twist motion, right? I'm slapping the sixth string with my thumb, 
kind of on the bony section right over here. Okay, and then to get the note in, I'm have to backhand with my middle finger with a ton of muting on this left hand. So in order to get this, those first two hits, like that, you're gonna have to mute left hand, okay? I'm muting all the other strings except for basically this one note, this uh, note E on the D string, and then that'll, when you do this slap here, that'll help get a cleaner sound. Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly clean, right? Because this is like uh, Hill Country Blues, you know, it's more about the groove and more about the rhythm than it is about playing things perfectly clean, uh, but you still want to work on that and try to get it as clean as possible. So let's go through the rest of the riff now. So we have these first two beats. Pinch, slap. Okay, and then we're going up to the fifth fret and kind of doing the same thing. Except this time we're going kind of a little bit of a syncopation. So we're going O, five, slap, then together. Then slap by itself. So, so far we've just got this. Okay, that's almost half of the riff. Let's go through that second half now. So right, measure two, we have this, slap, then we have this phrase. We wanna add that phrase with the bass notes and the slaps. That's the second half of the riff. Now one thing that kind of helps get this note in is to kind of maybe try to add a hammer on on that phrase too, just to kind of get, just to make sure you get enough volume there. <laughs> like that, okay? Now put those two things together and you've got the basic riff. Okay, that's the basic riff. And then you just work on that, try to get it up to speed. Now, the real speed of the song is, is about 210, which if you, uh, with the metronome clicking, it sounds like this. That's pretty fast. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four. Pretty fast with the metronome. But what I recommend to do is slow it way down, you know, maybe about 120 or so, and then build your way up. Now there's a second part of this song, and basically it's the same thing, it's just where we start this phrase, you know, that phrase that we just talked about, but then it goes into just a muted strum, okay? And you can see that on the tabs with just like the X's, right? Okay, and you're just kind of strumming with a muted strum over here. So just kind of mute the strings with your left hand by gently touching, don't press down, and then you can, Strum. Now I'm strumming down with my fingers, upstrokes with the thumb, like that. And then I'm accenting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then after the muted strum, he's gonna get back into the basic riff, just the beginning. Okay, that's the only other part of the song. Now there is one variation that we're gonna talk about right now too, and that is altering the syncopation. So sometimes he'll do the riff like this. I'll slow it way down so you can kind of hear the difference. Okay, now hopefully you can hear that at the end. Bum, 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 bum. That part there is not syncopated. So sometimes he'll do the syncopation where it sounds like this. I'll, I won't play the bass riff, but just the top part of it. Um, this is no syncopation. Okay, and this is with the syncopation. So you can hear that I'm pushing that fifth fret up in time a little bit. You can see that indicated in the tab. Now, a good way to practice it is to go back and forth with the altering syncopation. So maybe do the syncopated phrase first and then go to the non-syncopated phrase second. Two, three, four. And 
that is the altering syncopation. So when you're playing it, and kind of the way that I like to play it, it's just kind of mix that, not totally randomly, but kind of back and forth. So you get kind of some variations in there. Since it's just such a short riff, and that's basically the whole song, you want to have some kind of variations on there. So <laughs> this one is so fun to play, and this is... I've had a lot of fun teaching this one today, so uh, hopefully you guys got something out of it. And make sure to check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys over there.